Lubi Kilwana. I'm Lubi Karawood. For more information on the work that we do and how you can help us to help others, please visit our website www.secondchances.org.za. In Junior Achievement South Africa, its focus is really to expose youngsters within high school and out of school to entrepreneurial thinking. And ours is focused at high school from grade 10 to 12. Very big on youth empowerment and making a difference and touching lives and impacting the lives of our young people. That's practically what I do with my foundation as well, and ever since I was crowned as Miss SA. The, the goal of the magazine is to basically share information that will be able to assist small business owners. You're listening to The Social Show with Viewer Jolwana and Lebika Rawood live on brandlive.co.za. Warm welcome to everybody listening today. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the weather's a little bit not on my side, but it's still Friday, so we're still going to have a good show and a good day and a good weekend. And I just want to send my love and prayers to anybody who has been affected by Hurricane Dineo um, in parts of Africa and all over the world. I think uh, we all have heard the tragic stories and we're all praying for them. But as usual, we're going to start the day off with the news. The Portfolio Committee on Higher Education and Training says it is it is satisfied with the student-centered model introduced by the National Student Financial Aid Scheme, NASFIS, for funding applications. Now, NASFIS appeared before the committee on Wednesday. Through the cent- student-centered model, students are now required to apply directly to NASFIS, and this has resulted in an increased number of applications. This model was piloted in 2015. Now, NASFIS revealed that over 300,000 new uh, applicants have registered on the NASFIS uh, website. Chairperson of the Portfolio Committee, Connie September, said the student-centered model has a lot of potential, but NASFIS should perfect it and curb any challenges relating to the applications. Now, the transition from the old model to the new model wasn't smooth, but it could have... It c- but it was not bad either. The efforts made to make sh- sure that poor students are accommodated and given access to higher education is most welcome. Now, the committee welcomes the improved resources and the attention TVT, uh, TVET training students are getting as well as the increased funding availed to individual students. In other news, sub-Saharan Africa, where more than a half a billion people live without electricity, trails the world in government policies that promote sustainable energy, according to a New World Bank report on Wednesday, the 15th of February. Much of the rest of the world, however, has made strides toward um, making energy broadly available, uh, developing renewable power sources and increasing efficiency. Uh, The Overall regulatory uh, indicators for sustainable energy report said in a survey of over 100 countries, the World Bank found that through 2015, nearly 80 percent had begun to adopt policies to expand electrical grids, connecting them to solar and wind generation and to help make uh, electric utilities credit worthy and financially viable while keeping prices down. More than a third of these countries, home to 90 percent of the global population, were at an advantage stage and progress uh, was not limited to rich countries. Uh, Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda outperformed their peers in access to energy while Pakistan made progress on renewable energy and Vietnam had developed policies on energy efficiencies. Yet, reports showed that on the whole, African countries are scoring very poorly on the policy environment for energy access, said Vivian Foster, the World Bank's global in lead for energy economics as many as 40 percent of them are in the red zone meaning they've barely begun to take policy measures to accelerate access to energy and lastly in our news vitz is calling on all entrepreneurs and innovators with creative spirits to sign up for the campus personal navigator challenge now the challenge hopes to speed up the development of advanced systems that could be used to support students with visual and physical disabilities so they can independently and freely navigate within the campus. All entries must be submitted to www.chimolohong.joburg challenge before the 3rd of March 2017. 
The initiative is sponsored by the Carl and Emily Foundation and is the first series out of four annual digital innovation experiments that is facilitated by the Johannesburg Center of Software Engineering at Wits University. The project aims to interest 100 aspiring digital entrepreneurs with the chance to gain additional training and experience through a weekend-long hackathon. The group will then reduce to the best 10 candidates and then successful the successful few will be given three months membership in the Chimolohong precinct uh, incubation program. Moreover, the top three contenders will receive four more months in the incubation programs and the winning startup will spend four weeks at the Chimolohong pre, uh, presents a global partner center situated in Canada, USA, Netherlands, UK or India. Now in 1986, Wits University established the Disabled Students Program with the aim of supporting students with disabilities. This program is now called the Disability Rights Unit and has grown to assist over a thousand students uh, and staff with broad mm, range of disabilities. And this is the end of our news. Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow! Yeah. Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastownmedia.co.za. I'm so excited today. We have someone who is so, so um, special in studio um, who is... I think doing such amazing work, the entire organization is doing such amazing work. We have Zai Miller, uh, who is the development manager for Little Eden. Now, if you don't know anything about Little Eden, you're going to find out everything right now. Um, Little Eden takes care of about 300 children and adults uh, with profoundly, uh, with profound disabilities, uh, mental disabilities. Intellectual disabilities. Yes. That's right. Sorry, yes. sorry. It's, 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 it's Friday. It's, it's Friday. Friday. <laughs> Zai, so, so good to have you on the show. Thank you for, your, for availing yourself. Thank you for inviting me. Lovely. Can you just tell us a little bit about, I know you guys are celebrating your 50 years now. You yes. have such a powerful legacy. Please give us a brief history on it and what it is that you actually do. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Yes, it is our 50th and a b uh, birthday anniversary this year. Uh, Little Eden was started 50 years ago by Domatilla Hyams with three children and, f and a 10 rand donation. Wow. And this is what we've grown to. Um, we care for, as you said, 300 profoundly intellectually and physically disabled children and adults. We, um, we wash two and a half thousand nappies and three tons of linen and clothing a day. Wow. Because most of our children are on specialized wheelchairs and unable to do much for themselves. We have over 200, 256 staff, mainly caregivers, that work shifts day and night 365 days a year. Mm. And um, we really do a lot for our children. We care for them. We're dedicated to love them and make them comfortable. We have physiotherapists. We have music therapists. We have speech therapy. We have occupational therapy, hydrotherapy. We have volunteers that come in with their pets for pet therapy <laughs> so and reflexology to help our children and adults to develop to their full potential. Our youngest is four years of age and the eldest is 65. Wow, that is a beautiful range. Good range. Um, can you just tell us a little bit more about your kids? I know you, you spoke a little bit before the show about the beautiful things that have come out of Little Eden because of this, these amazing services. Can you just give us a few you stories? You want a, a success story or two? Oh, three. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we've got, um, for example, I'm thinking of Kaketsu, okay. who came to Little Eden when she was 14 months of age. And the doctors had told her family she'll never be able to move on her own and she won't live long. She has um, cerebral palsy and brain atrophy. Um, it's eight years later now. She's eight years of age and she was taught by a physio and staff to roll, to crawl, to move her own wheelchair, to stand up against the table and hold on and walk holding on. And the latest is that she starts taking her own clothes off. Yeah. So she keeps our staff very busy. I love that. Then we have Nonfondu. <coughs> uh, Nonfondu is unable to talk, like many of our, um, our residents. And, but our music therapist picked up that she really has a beautiful voice. And she's been able to teach Nonfondu to sing. 
things, songs like Ave Maria and Holy City and German songs, but Nomfondu can't talk. Yeah. And if you go onto Little Eden's Facebook, you'll see and hear Nomfondu singing Holy City, and I'm sure it'll bring a tear to your eyes. Mm, Nomfondu, that sounds so beautiful. I'm going to go and, and please check do, that out. Please Definitely. do. We also have little Bussy singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star oh, on wow. our Facebook. That is and beautiful. she's too precious as well. <laughs> that is really beautiful. Now, just to, to, to talk about something a little bit more uh, broad, I know there's been quite a dark cloud on, you know, the general attitude of how um, disabled communities, profoundly intellectually disabled communities, all disabled communities have been, they've kind of been neglected and, and really not really, they've been abandoned, I think. And if you think about Life as Dimeni and you think about the Trilog um, handbook where they talk about uh, how low disability ranks on how CSI spends its money, um, you can't help by but like cringe, you, it, it's crazy. Um, how do you think Lord Eden is working to change these these ideas and these attitudes or will work to, to, to get it better? Yes, that's very, very true. And that is a big problem for Little Eden and all other organizations dealing with disability. Most of the funding CSI goes into education, maths and science, skills development, unemployment. Not that that isn't important. Of course it is. But as a result, people take their own mobility for granted. Yes. They come and go as they please. Yes. They do what they want to do. They get to from point A to point B without any problems. And they don't think of disabled people. Uh, and and the fact that we need to care for our children and adults 24-7, day and night, 365 days a year. Yes. And um, so, yes, it, uh, we do need to come up with some other ideas sometimes mm. in terms of fundraising. Yes. And I have found, though, that if I can get a company, CSI folk, to visit Little Eden, it has made such an impact on them, mm. what we do with that organization, mm. how we help and care for our children and adults, um, that even when they don't, when it's not part of their criteria, they look to see how they how can they assist Little Eden. Uh, <coughs> Sorry, what, what else did you... No, but that <laughs> was perfect. Asking? That was perfect. <laughs> Is that I, fine? Uh, no, that's fine. I know you guys have some new initiatives coming out to celebrate your 50 years yes. of existence. Can you just talk to us a little bit about your Thanksgiving, your right. book, and the much, much anticipated yes. wheelchair okay. challenge? We have, um, uh, yes, we've started <coughs> off our 50th celebrations uh, with a Thanksgiving mass on the 29th of January. Um, now in March, on the 5th of March, we've got a fete. Um, we also have a breakfast going early April uh, where we're inviting people to come f to Little Eden for a breakfast to also be taken through the, uh, the facility to see what we do there and to meet our children and adults. We are also asking people if this is their 50th birthday or any birthday, any age, <laughs> and a 50th anniversary, instead of asking friends for gifts, ask them to donate to Little Eden in Lovely. lieu of their birthday. Mm. We've had a few very successful birthdays days last year yeah. in this manner and it would be great if that could happen uh, throughout the year yes okay and and uh, we've got a history book yes, yes. <laughs> luigi uh, Slaviro, who is on our board of governors yes. and is the daughter-in-law of danny and domatilla Himes that okay. uh, started the home uh, the son-in-law, did I say daughter-in-law? Yes, you did. No. <laughs> son-in-law, he's written a history book yes. from those days, from before Little Eden was started to now. And it is available at 180 Rand, and we got it fully sponsored, the printing and paper Lovely. and everything, which was wonderful. That is great. And lastly, obviously, the, the wheelchair obstacle race. Yes, yes, now, March is Intellectual Disability Month. Yes. Uh, and uh, we've had to think of something to do because it's also the end of our financial year to ensure that we stay open for the next 50 years. So we've come up with the idea of a wheelchair obstacle race and we're calling all CEOs uh, or if the CEO can't uh, attend, he can send an executive in his company to take partake in this obstacle race which will be held at the holy rosary school at the end of march a saturday morning from 10 to 12 the 25th and um we're asking for a donation of fifty thousand rand yes um <clears throat> we'd be very grateful if the csi and uh, managers that are listening to this uh, talk this morning mm. to please persuade your uh, ceos to participate we'll have the media there mm. and um we 
you know, we'll be putting all of this out on our Facebook and on our website. Yes. And um, in the newspapers, we're sending out press releases as well. Lovely. And really, we do need your support. Please support disability and partake uh, in the wheelchair race. Yes, I also found out that you're going to be giving away the, the wheelchairs to... Oh, yes. We also yes. would like the company participating to just buy ordinary wheelchair, no electric wheelchairs. Yes. And you're going to have to bring either a staff member or your family because there is some parts of the obstacle race where you're going to need a bit of help. Um, maybe with steps. Yes. Uh, there's no ways you can do that on your own. And... Um, <coughs> <laughs> yes, so you're going to need support. Yes. Uh, like all of our disabled people need support. Yes. Yeah. So the day they're going to feel exactly, it's like a day in the, in the life and of. The day in a life of um, a f- yeah. profoundly disabled so child or adult, yes. Lovely. And the wheelchairs will be given to? Yes, the wheelchairs, um, if, if little Eden can't use them, because yes. most of our children are on specialized wheelchairs okay. that have been designed to fit their bodies, uh, we will give it to children and adults in, in the townships okay. that uh, don't have uh, uh, wheelchairs. Lovely. That is so beautiful. I know you guys have, uh, it's obviously Little Eden Society, but there's also a foundation. Uh, just yes, there is. That? We have a board of governors, of course. We have a finance committee and all of a governance co- uh, a management committee that ensures that our, oper- uh, that our organization is run properly. And then we have a foundation. Now, the foundation, um, the bequest that Little Eden uh, uh, get, receive uh, goes into the foundation. Lovely. We have a uh, organization in Italy called Onlus that does a bit of fundraising for Little Eden, and that funding also goes through to the foundation. So that when Little Eden um, is battling to bring in funding from C- CSI that only fund education, <laughs> yes. at least the foundation is there to try and help us out. That's beautiful. Lastly, I know there's a lot of ways in which people can get involved, such creative ways when I saw on your website. Can you give give us a little bit of a brief understanding of how someone who doesn't know about Little, little Eden but wants to get involved, uh, what, the kind, what the kinds of things they can do? Okay, look, we're more than happy to have even members of the public come to Little Eden, see, meet with us. Um, we take you through the home. You can interact with our residents. And because we've got, I'm thinking of Grant, he's in his 40s, but he's like a three-year-old child. Yes. Loves to play with Legos and building blocks and things. Yes. So those are also things that individuals can mm-hmm. donate to us. Uh, we've got a needs list with uh, food and cl- the type of clothing that we can use. Mm-hmm. We have a second-hand shop that what we what is donated to us, if we can't use it in the home, we sell in the shop for extra money. Okay. Yes, and um, we... So we do also accept volunteers, but a lot of people want to volunteer over a weekend, and unfortunately, we we can't allow that. Okay. But uh, so if they are mommies that aren't working and they want to do a little bit of uh, volunteer work and work one on one with some of our children and help feed them because they all need to be bathed and fed and dressed. Most of our children have been abandoned or neglected. uh, the, the minority have families mm. and if they do have families the minority of them have families that can even contribute towards their stay mm. so uh, we appreciate it if folk want to come and help out yeah. and help our caregivers um, to c- take care of our children read to them mm. um, as I said, we've got birthday new, parties. Yes, yes, and we've got a Christmas party coming up at the end of the year, yes. which really has everybody in tears because mm. we've got maybe Sean playing the chimes with his toes and another little boy hitting the drums with his feet and mm. humming because he's also unable to talk. Mm. But uh, they they are just they just love the concerts and they do participate so beautifully in the way that they are able to. Perfect. Now, where can we get a hold of your Eden? Sorry? Where can we get a hold of your uh, Oh, yes. Website? We've got a website, www.littleeden.org.za. We are on Facebook, and I do believe they're also on Twitter, but I'm not too sure. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm sure we can find uh, the, re- the you relevant links. You can get links. that info from Nicolette, no problem. yes. And, um, and our phone number is 11 six zero nine seven two four six and tell me how easy is it for people to donate money 
How easy is it? Okay, you can do it online through our website. Um, there's donate buttons on every page okay. and a donate section that's very, very uh, pay friendly. Lovely. There's also the snap scan, is that what oh, they call yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. We've also got that on our uh, all of our correspondence and on the website. And um, Facebook, you can also, there's also a donate button on Facebook that will take you through to the donation section on the website. Lovely. And then, of course, any if payments, uh, you can phone in and you can make credit card payments or you can come to the office and fill in a monthly debit order form, which will be gratefully accepted. And you guys are all the way in Edenvale. (laughs) Yes, we're in Edenvale, but we have another home in Babsonte on a small agricultural holding. We have 140 children oh. in Edenvale, and our 120 children oh. and adults on the farm are slightly a little more higher functioning okay. than our children in, in Edenvale and can do maybe a little more like uh, uh, feed the animals okay. or the chickens or <laughs> work in the laundry a little bit, although there are quite a, f- a lot of them also in wheelchairs uh, that need extra care. That is beautiful. And there you have it, guys. If you don't know anything about Little Eden, now you know. And I'm so excited for the CEO Challenge. It's on the 25th of March. It will need CEOs to contribute at least 50,000 rand. If you can contribute more, we are more than happy. Oh, wonderful. (laughs) Yes. Yes. And um, need to contact me if they're interested in the Wheelchair Camp uh, Challenge. And my name is Zai, Z-A-I Miller. And they can contact me either via email or through the uh, phone numbers at Little Eden to register. Lovely. And we'll have that all on our site if you guys have missed where you can find Zai Miller. And that was actually Zai Miller for a de- development manager at uh, Little Eden. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you learned something and I hope you are going to do something about uh Little Eden's beautiful, beautiful, uh, you know, they have a beautiful legacy. They they are trustworthy. I think 50 years, you guys have a, an amazing quality to the work that you do. And it's, it's very important that we support disabilities, especially in this time. And again, March 25th, CEO, uh, Wheelchair Obstacle Race. Find out more. Uh, hit us up on our uh, social media and we will definitely give you more information and we'll give you direct link to Zai Miller. But that's it for us. Uh, it is a good show. I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend. Thank you, Zai, again. And thank you also so much. You but too. Have a great weekend. Have a great one. More than 8.1 billion rand was invested in CSI initiatives in the year 2015. Initiatives that want to save our planet, lift people out of poverty, and advance economic inclusion. Join me, Viewer Cholwana, as I impact the projects that are aiming to move South Africa forward every week from 4 to 5 p.m. on The Social Show. Brandlive.co.za, harnessing the power of talk radio. The Social Show is the only show that gives you updated content on all things CSI. The show will interrogate and report on the latest initiatives that are supported, developed and initiated by the public and private sector. Hosted by myself, Viewer Chorwana, and me, Lebika Robert, every week from 4 to 5 p.m. Hear it on brandlive.co.za. See it on social-tv.co.za. Brandlive.co.za, harnessing the power of talk radio.